so there was another region when a elite venue where you have students and meritorious students from i understand about 10 prestigious schools of calcutta so naturally you are going to be nervous my standing here has two reasons as they say <coughs> it's about poetry and which is something i have grown with and number two we are really fortunate to have our honorable governor sri kesri natripati his excellency who is a great poet some of you might have known about him some of you might have heard about him this morning i was with him i had a yes, privilege to be with him in the lawn tennis program and i told him sir i have been invited at la martiniere and where they say why don't you read poetry and he's the person i will be very honest with you he can go on and on you know he, he, because he's from Allahabad and uh, how many books he has written on poetry and is something a privilege to be with him. In the earlier session, I heard a word where they said uh, nowadays teachers are not respected and that is something which I thought I'll just take one minute to say and that too since it's a poetry session and most of you would uh, know Hindi so I'll say two lines in Hindi with your permission. Guru Govind dono khade kiske lagun paaye balihari guru aapki Govind diyo bataye. Guru and Govind means the teacher and God both are standing and the students are in dilemma that we should touch feet of whom? The God only said first you touch the feet of the children, the, your teacher and I think that is what we need to learn in this age where there is a violence and where you see that you know children are beating up students or principals and what not. I think that is not the subject but the subject is about poetry and this is something when you are stressed and when you are at a loss of words and when you are in great doubt, poetry is something which will put you as I say as a medium and connection to bring you inner peace and to widen your horizon. Friends, I know you are ready to hear our esteemed panelists and I would again like to thank Mr. Sarkar for giving me this privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We have some flowers for you. When we welcome anybody in La Martinia, we do it in a very special style. We say it traditional La Martinia way. So, Jagushini, we will begin with you because you will be moderating the session. So, may we welcome Jagushini Chakraborty for this session and for moderating it. And now for Shrijato Bondopadhai. And Mr. Jeet Thail. Thank you so much, Mr. Thail, for being here. I will request Audrita Mitra, who is the president of our Readers Club, to formally introduce our speakers. We have two. We have two very special people on our panel today, Jeet Thail and Srijato Bondopadhyay. Now Jeet Thail is a multifaceted man. He is a novelist, a poet, a musician, and he is best known for his collections, These Errors Are Wrong, English Apocalypso, and Gemini. His first novel, Narcopolis, was shortlisted for the 2012 Man Booker Prize and the Hindu Literary Prize in 2013. He is rightly regarded as one of the most talented literary products of India. Srijato Bandopandhai is among the most prolific of the new generation Bengali poets and has published eight collections of poetry, eight poetry collections. He has won the Anundo Puroshkar in 2004 for his book Urhanto Shop Joker, All Those Flying Jokers. He has made a name for himself both as a poet and as a lyricist. We are most acquainted with his work in films like Autograph, Iti Mrinalini, and Misha Rahosho. We are very excited to have you both here today with us. Okay, there's nothing much left for me to say. Um, <laughs> it's just that um, I'll get straight to the topic. When I was young, I thought I could write poetry. And I wrote poetry. 
and it was awful. Not even my mother could say it was good. So basically, um, I just want to ask both of you, and since um, this is very interesting because we have one poet who writes in Bangla and another who writes in English, so this will be a bilingual session. Um, I want to ask both of you, you can't just write poetry, can you? It's, it's a job like any other, and you need to be trained for it, you need to polish your craft. Uh, poetry is not as spontaneous as we all think it is. Before you answer that question, how many of you actually read poetry? Wow, okay, that's, that's great. How many of you write poetry? And you're admitting this. <laughs> you're freely admitting that you write poetry. All right, okay. Um, who would like to answer first? Jeet, would you like to go first? Hello. I'm very glad to see that uh, the number of people who read poetry outnumber the number of people who write poetry. That's a good sign because I think uh, if you want to learn how to write, you should read a lot of poems, good poems. Uh, that's the only way you're going to figure out how to do it. Uh, you know, yes, it is a craft. Um, unlike other types of writing, it's a very difficult craft because there's so much technical stuff that you have to learn. And uh, you, I, I really believe that you have to have a, a, a genuinely perverse type of mind to even attempt to, to read poems, certainly to write them, and most of all, to actually become a practitioner of poetry. You have to be deeply twisted in some way. I think that describes a lot of us. <laughs> uh, Srijato, uh, you know, he's, he's, you've written poetry, you've done lyrics. I'm going to come to that too with Jeet later. You've done so much with words and language. Kovita um, Kano leaks him. Why, he, he, and he's definitely twisted. He ran away from home to avoid an exam. So, <laughs> um, Kano, why did you write poetry? Prathome, my apologies to Jeet because I'm going to speak in Bengali. So, and uh, when I asked Jeet that, do you understand Bengali? He said that I only know Paturi. So, Paturi. So, I said that would do. Whenever you are in Kolkata and you know Paturi, you are set. So, <laughs> uh, প্রথমেই বলি সবাইকে শুভ অপরাহ্ন আর আমি এখন আর স্বীকার করতে লজ্জা নেই ছোটবেলা থেকে স্কুলটা আসতে চাইতাম তো আই থিঙ্ক ইটস টু লেট ফর মি নাও সো তখন ঢুকতে পাইনি তো কবিতা লেখা জিনিসটা আমার মনে হয় যেটা জাগ্রসে নিজে জায়গাটা একটু ধরতে চাইছে যে আমরা সব কিছু শিখতে পারি কারণ তার জায়গা আছে উই ক্যান লার্ন সিঙ্গিং উই ক্যান লার্ন ডান্সিং উই ক্যান লার্ন পেইন্টিং কিন্তু there is no school that can uh, teach how to write poetry ekhane antoto nei bideshe sei sujog ache ebong shegulo hoy ami kichu attend korechi kintu dekhechi tate kajer kaj kichu hoy na karon phole jeta hoy je manush amra bangalira bisheshato ekta boyosher por bhabte shuru kori je ami kobita likhbo i'll write poetry karon amar canvas dorkar nei amar tuli dorkar nei amar harmonium dorkar nei barite shegulo ache ekta kagoj ar ekta kolom so i can write it or ekhon to you can post it in on facebook and all to amra prothomei jinish ta ke we take it very easily and we take it for granted that's the first mistake we do kokhono kobita ke don't take it for granted amar mone hoy je ekta instinct ekta tagid jeta jit bollen je ekta twisted mind seta jotokkhon na bhetor theke tomake thele dicche je you must write poetry and you'll die if you do not then you won't, then only you write poetry eta amar khetreo tai hoyeche ami age akar chesta korechi gaan gaibar chesta korechi karon sob shomoy amar mone hoto amar bhetore kichu ekta ache jeta amar express kora uchit finally i found poetry and i'm still searching for it i must say to kintu ami bujhte perechi je lekhar moddhe dei amake express korte hobe etar jonno ekta experience lage ekta training lage ekta একটা অনেক বড় সময় লাগে জীবনের ফলে কবিতা চাইলেই লিখে ফেলা যায় 
আমাদের অনেকের আমি বলছি না সকলের কিন্তু অনেকের যে এই সেট ধারণা আছে যে কবিতায় লেখা রাইটিং পোয়েট্রি ইজ দ্য মোস্ট ইজি থিং আই ক্যান ডু দ্যাটস অ্যাবসলিউটলি মিথ ইটস নট ট্রু জিত ইউ নো আই ওয়ান্ট টু আস্ক ইউ পোয়েট্রি ইজ দ্য মোস্ট প্রিমেটিভ অল অল অফ অল হিউম্যান এক্সপ্রেশন দ্য ফার্স্ট লিটারারি এক্সপ্রেশন অফ হিউম্যান কাইন্ড ওয়াজ প্রবেবলি পোয়েট্রি বিফোর উই রোড প্রোজ আই মিন নভেলস অর স্টোরিজ অর এনিথিং এলস উই রোড পোয়েট্রি হোয়াট ইজ ইট অবাউট পোয়েট্রি দ্যাট অপিলস টু সামথিং সো ডিপ উইদ ইন আস হোয়াট ইজ ইট আর দেয়ার সাম ইমোশনস দ্যাট ক্যান বি এক্সপ্রেসড ওনলি থ্রু পোয়েট্রি ইজ ইট not possible to write um, an essay about some ex- <laughs> some emotions well i've i've actually always thought that talking about poetry as we're doing right here uh is a mistake uh it's sort of like uh taking a bath with your socks on you know you fill a bubble bath it's hot water you put lovely bubbles in it scents in it you get into it but you leave your socks on not really not something you should be doing or it's like eating a lovely meal like eating uh, maybe sushi where the color matters and the look of it matters it's like eating sushi in the dark you know y- it really is uh, something you shouldn't be talking about you should either be hearing or reading or speaking i think um <laughs> but you know but since we're here and uh you know uh, since we have a captive audience <laughs> i know you'd rather be outside in the sunshine but uh, you know here you are uh, yeah well you know we can talk about it so my question was you forgotten what i asked i you. completely forgot yeah. what you asked exactly. yeah. see <laughs> i was hoping <laughs> you wouldn't point that out <laughs> see that's a poet <laughs> okay the thing is i asked you what is it about poetry that it appeals to something very deep or primitive within us because the first literary expression of human kind was poetry we wrote poetry before we did anything else um it's uh, i i really think that today what poetry does is it takes the place of prayer um for a godless time for a godless age a uh, lot of us have forgotten god uh you know god d- had a very specific function going to church or temple it had a very specific function back in the day you did it because it filled certain spaces in your heart that could only be filled by that kind of language by that kind of exalted experience in today's world we don't have time for that kind of experience uh direct experience of god and i think this is why when in a moment of crisis even in a moment of national crisis what we turn to is poetry it it works in the same way as prayer there are poems there are lines of poems that you can say to yourself that will bring a kind of solace or a kind of comfort at a moment of crisis do you agree tumhare ta ki mone hai দেখো আমি হয়তো একটু অন্যভাবে বলতে চাইব তুমি যেটা বললে যে কেন এসে নয় কেন নভেল নয় কেন কবিতায় টু সেইড ভেরি লাইটলি আমি স্কুলে যে মেয়েটিকে 